How did your high school crush turn out as an adult? He had a roller coaster of a life. I admire him more than ever. And more than most people I know. But can't wrap my head around why I ever found him physically attractive. Maybe it was always just his heart. By age 25. He had a PhD. A wife. And was a captain in the Navy. By 30. He had two PhDs. A small business where he made a metric ass ton of money. And his wife was pregnant. By 31 he was diagnosed with stage 4 skin cancer that swiftly spread to his lymph nodes. Bones. Esophagus. And a few other places. He was told he had minimal chance of making it 5 more years. Even with the best health insurance money can buy. It still basically wiped him out. Seven years later. He's living a comfortable but not extravagant life as a civilian contractor for the Navy. Same wife and two happy healthy kids. And spends most of his free time advocating for better public health care. My friend's high school crush was Tom Holland. Like they went to the same school. Wow I can't believe you're friends with Mary Jane. Or Liz Allen. Back when I was younger and crushing hard I got on AOL Instant Messenger and had gotten my crush's screen name from a friend. I worked up the nerve to start a conversation with him and soon after some awkward small talk he sent me a message in Comic Sans. Black background. Red lettering. And in French. I then went to Google for translation and found out he had just called me a pig. In French. Being a seemingly awkward and chubby teenager. I was literally crushed. The heartbreak was only made worse by remembering that a few weeks prior I had selected to take French class the next year and couldn't change it. Years later now that I've blossomed he follows me on every social media platform. Has reached out a couple of times to try and flirt slash hang out. Hard pass. I believe he's moved away and is a teacher now. Ah. The now you want me because I'm hot attempt. I had a lady try that post college. Maybe had she not been so mean about turning me down when I asked her out before. I would have considered it. He was this nice cool guy who would consistently post memes and stuff on social media. Then two or three years later. He deleted all of his social media. I don't have his phone number or know any friends that know him so I don't know how he's doing but I hope he's doing well. I had a few in high school. One ended up moving away after sophomore year and no one knew what. She reached out to me when I had a mental breakdown online and said that she could understand what I was going through. Some beeped up speep happened to her though she never said what specifically. I didn't ask further because it wasn't my business to prod. I'm not sure how she is now. Another got super hot after high school and she did a degree in science. Again not sure where she is now but I think she's doing alright. And the third works at a bank. We ended on bad terms partially my fault. I found out she was making fun of me behind my back and had done so for months beforehand so I sent her an angry message. Haven't seen her since then. Nah dude beep the girl making fun of you. I myself would have dropped them if they didn't drop me first. One is still active duty in the military and she has a very successful career as an officer. I hope she continues to be. The other is successful in the arts and I hope she continues to be that as well. Both are married to others who treat them well. I'm happy that they are both happy. My life is still going good here so I have no hard feelings. Found out she was fat and unattractive. Then I realized I was too. I ship it. Harvard. Degrees in writing and medicine. Became a leading surgeon in a major city. Extremely proud of her. Always had her on a pedestal. I guess with good reason. The guy I crushed on for two and a half years did not end up turning out great. 
I'm still friends with his younger sister. So I know that he recently acquired his third DUI and his second divorce. He's currently living in his friend's basement and occasionally works for his friend's moving company as a mover. But only when he feels like it. He spends all his money on booze and owes the two moms of his five kids tons of child support. But man. Was he hot in high school. My second crush in high school is the only reason I got over my first crush. He's currently doing great. Mostly because he gets to be married to me for going on 20 years. D. My crush turned into a self-righteous prick who still lives with his parents. He became livid when he found out my husband and I had a baby. I apparently was supposed to be his backup plan if he couldn't find anyone better. Sounds like you dodged a cannonball. Not just a bullet. Thank goodness. I hope things are good slash still good for you. We split sophomore year. Went our separate ways. But still sporadically kept in touch as he prepared to go to Iraq. Years passed. He got divorced. And then my husband passed away in 2019 from a motorcycle accident. We reconnected. And decided to hang out as friends. By the second date. We were inseparable. We live together and are incredibly happy. He's beyond supportive of my past grief that I still battle sometimes. He's a great provider. And the most loving selfless person I've known in a very long time. I feel very lucky to have gotten a second chance with my HS crush slash first HS boyfriend slash first love. Turns out he's gay. And got fired from a teaching job for having inappropriate relationships with his male students. Undefined. They're all stunning and wildly successful. One in particular was a crush with a similar name to mine dating back from my elementary school. Which turned out to be the longest crush an entire decade I've ever had. And still appearing in a looping dream sequence to this day. Especially. After that bitter and frankly traumatic rejection before we parted ways when I confessed to her. At that point we were classmates for five years and were going to different schools. After the separation that's when the dreams began and every time I woke up I'm feeling emotional all over again. Took me another painful five years before I stopped crushing on her. But the dreams never stopped. Just last week I had an update to the dream sequence where we actually talked for the first time in a decade of Groundhog Day levels of dreams. I know. It's pathetic. Life update edit on that particular crush. She's currently aspiring to be an architect and had an equally cool boyfriend so I doubt she ever looked back on her past as much as I do. I recently tried to follow her on her socials to get a life update from herself but she won't accept my requests. So I won't gonna force her. I still dream about the first person I really liked even though I am happily married and don't consciously care. Brains are weird like that. First one has been married almost 25 years to a beautiful woman and has two beautiful children. But he's a serial cheater and I dodged a bullet. Second one owns the farm next to me. He's been married 15 years with a daughter but he too constantly cheats on his wife. So again. Dodged a bullet. Thank God I saw the pattern and broke the cycle. I've been married 18 years to a good man and the only cheating we do is financial still not cool. I know. I'm right where I'm supposed to be. Wait. How do you financially cheat? Around 10 years after graduation. I ran into her stepmom on a contract job. I asked how my former crush was doing. And stepmom told me she was happily married and about to have her third kid. I'm sure she noticed the crushing defeat on my face. We're friends on Facebook. Unrequited crush got knocked up by the manager of a Domino's pizza right after graduation and moved to a podunk town to be with him. She spent some time in jail for meth. Has four kids from three different fathers. 
and now lives with a fourth guy. Dodged a bullet there. I had two main crushes in HS. First one is still decently hot she definitely works out. Second looks slightly older than she did in HS. But otherwise she's not bad either. Definitely a bit jealous of their husbands lol. Not all of high school. But latter junior high slash freshman and sophomore years. Not sure about looks. But she ended up becoming a teacher. Who was fired a couple of years ago for sending explicit texts to I think a 15 year old student at her school. She was 38 at the time. He is unemployed and does drugs on a regular basis. Still stuck in my small ass town. I know about him because a girl from my group of friends we are not the closest used to f*** him when he argued with his ex. They ended up having a threesome and speep hit the fan. Hey guys, if you like this video then smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. And don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified for future videos. Thanks for watching, click here to see more videos.